Hey friends, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Unified Cloud Key. Now, before I dive into this, to use the security gateway or even just the access point, you do not have to have the Cloud Key. You can download the Unify software and run it on your computer and then set up your access point or your gateway or both of them and then you can choose to have it always running on your computer or you can just set it up and you're good to go or you can always have it running so it'll log whatever data those devices put off. So I always wanted the software running, so that's why I got this. I didn't want to be running a VM on my server, so that would have been off my computer, and I didn't want to be running this Java application on my computer 24 seven, bogging down my resources or even preventing it so I couldn't shut down my computer. So that's why I got this. And now that I've told you why I got this, let's go ahead and open up the box and set this thing up. All right, so opening the box, whoop. Instructions on how to use it. And then the cloud key itself. Oh yeah. So it's got a one gig ethernet port up here. And then it's got a spot for a micro SD card and then a USB. So this thing can be powered with power over ethernet running into this or you can power it with the USB, but it doesn't come with a USB charger or anything like that. So I figured everything else of theirs is power over ethernet and I didn't want to be dealing with USB power and I, I've always had kind of a little bit of a bad experience with USB power. So I decided to run with the power over ethernet. So I ended up getting this off of Amazon. It's, it's like 15 bucks, but this is a gig uh, PoE adapter and this, is, this will work with this. So we also got a short little ethernet cable and then a 32 gig or excuse me, an eight gig micro SD card. We'll go ahead and take this out. Tiny little guy. Come here. Uh oh. There we go. Alright, that's in there. Alright, so I'm going to go set all this up now and I'll show you what I've got when I'm done. Alright, so here we are in my server room where I'm keeping my cloud key. Here it is. Not much to it. Using that port, powering it on that side, and then the ah, and then the SD card right there. So that Ethernet cable comes through the back there, then comes down, plugs into the PoE injector that I showed you earlier, and then from that it comes up into my switch. So really it's going from switch down to PoE and then into the cloud key, and then into the cloud key. Now we're going to go set up the software side of things. Okay, so now that we've got it physically installed, you want to go to unify.ubnt.com. And I'll come up to a uh, page like this. Choose Discover Cloud Key. I'm just going to go ahead and install their discovery tool. adopt my cloud key, upgrade the firmware first, it says it's going to take a couple minutes. So here's the main page of the Unified Cloud Key on version 0 .0 So here's the main, gives me the MAC address, date, how much space is available, Here's my configuration for it, and then the maintenance. Okay, so it's having a hard time. I'm gonna switch back to that. Go to maintenance, check for updates. Update now. 
All right, so now that I have Unify up to date, try this again. So after the upgrade, this is new. It tells me how much SD card I have, which is cool. So the cloud key comes with 10, and then the extra eight from the SD card. So the cloud key, I'm gonna go ahead and adopt it. Unify setup wizard, so mountain time, enable auto backup. So right here, this is why I've got the cloud key, because it's gonna log all of this information from all of my devices that I'm gonna be setting up on my network. So as you guys can see, it is really easy to set up and install this. However, I did run into a few hiccups, like I ran into a problem with um, using my initial browser, which it didn't like, it wanted me to use Firefox or Chrome. So I switched to Chrome, installed the plugin, and then it was able to auto discover the cloud key with very little issue. And then this is kind of an older product. Well, it's not really an older product, but I've had it sitting on my desk for a couple months now. So it's firmware was really out, out of date. So I had to update that. Now there was two, two things I had to update. I had to update Unify, which is the software that manages everything, but then the cloud key itself has its own firmware that I had to update. And updating Unify really didn't give me much of an issue. And then after I updated Unify, I tried to update the cloud key and it, it just kept failing on me. It didn't matter which method or which screen that I tried to actually upgrade it from. It didn't like it, so I did a quick reboot of it. Once it came back up, upgraded just fine. I had no issue with it after that, and it's really great. It's a really simple interface. So far, just playing with it has been really fun. So, like I said at the first of the video, this product really isn't needed, but I really, really wanted this to be off of my device. I really wanted the management software to be running on, a, on its own device and not have to set up a VM, and not have to tie down the resources on my computer. So I personally am really glad I bought it. It's even easier than I thought to use. So I really hope you guys like it. I hope this video has been somewhat helpful to you. If you're thinking about getting one or have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you liked it, smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel below, and I'll see you next time.